right? Just to give you a glimpse, that there is a book called Ikigai. Now, Ikigai is a book by authors who did a research on the village of Okinawa in Japan. And this research was based on the village of Okinawa because in that village, most of the people live more than the age of 90 or 100. Like 90 to 100 and more than 100 is a very, very common age bar over there. So there were these two researchers who went there to study that why people live so long over there. And when I read that book, initially I found it a bit very, uh, you know, very research oriented or a bit on the heavier side. But as I started reading that book, I understood that this book is really, really very good. It helps you to understand that how can you live a better life for yourself. Now, my target is not to live more than 90 or 100 years. No, but everybody's target in life is to live a happier and a healthy life. And that you understand from that book. So this is just a glimpse of what is going to happen on Sunday. So please stay tuned to the session on Sunday, which is happening at 11 a.m. Till then, let us begin and do not forget to give this video a big fat thumbs up. Do subscribe to Vedanta Young Wonders. It's absolutely free of course. This channel is a Pandora's box of knowledge, of information, of ideas. Here we don't only teach academics, but we also touch the non-academic topics. We play games, we have fun and we explore the better version of life. So subscribe to Vedanta Young Wonders. It's absolutely free and share it with your friends and your uh, you know, school WhatsApp group and your family members. Let all of us learn together, grow together and evolve together. Right? With that, chalo, let's uh, begin with the human digestive system. Now let me enlist the parts of the human digestive system. Okay? Let me begin by enlisting the parts. So number one, we have got the buccal cavity. Okay. Now the buccal cavity consists of the mouth and the tongue. The mouth which has got the teeth, the four different types of teeth and the tongue. Okay. It also has got the salivary glands which secretes the saliva. Number two, we have got the esophagus or the food pipe. Number three, in the human digestive system, we have got the stomach. Number four is your small intestine. Number five is your large intestine. Number six is your rectum. And number seven is your anus. Right? These are the organs of the these are the organs of the human digestive system. And if we talk about the processes, if we talk about the processes, we have got ingestion, digestion, absorption, assimilation. And ingestion. Right? These are the processes of the human digestive system. Yes, you are absolutely right, Yash. All of this from the esophagus to the anus is called as the alimentary canal. Right? Chal. Let's begin. Let's begin and move ahead. Digestion in human beings. What do you mean by the word digestion? The digestion is the process of breakdown of complex food into simpler ones. How do you define digestion? It is the process of breakdown of simpler foods into, sorry, of complex food into simpler ones in order to absorb the nutrients. The process of digestion is defined as the breakdown of complex food substances into simpler ones in order to absorb the nutrients from them is called digestion. The process of breakdown of complex food substances into simple ones in order to absorb nutrients from them. Right? So the food that we eat passes through the canal, it passes through a continuous cavity which begins at the buccal cavity and ends at the anus. It is also called as the alimentary canal or the digestive tract. 
Now, there are many other organs that help, that help, the, which are the accessory organs of the digestive system, and they are the salivary glands, which secrete the saliva. There are the liver and the gallbladder and the pancreas. Okay? The liver and the gallbladder and the pancreas. All of these are accessory organs. Right? Even the salivary glands. Okay? They are the accessory organs. Right? They are not the main parts of the digestive system, but they are the accessory ones which help the main parts to carry out digestion. Okay? Now let's begin. Let's begin with the different compartments. So, I just explained you over here the entire process. In the mouth, you have got the in the mouth, you have got the teeth and the tongue. Okay? When you talk about the teeth, there are four types of teeth. That is, incisors, canines, Premolars and molars. Okay? Total teeth in an adult are 32. Okay? Teeth are of two types. The milk teeth, which are in a, in a baby, since from the baby, you know, when the baby is born, the teeth start growing, and then till the age of 6 to 8, the milk teeth or the temporary teeth are there. Then they fall off and permanent teeth come. Permanent teeth, if they fall off, you will not get a new permanent teeth. You will have to implant an artificial tooth, right? So these are milk teeth and permanent teeth. The total number of teeth, including the upper jaw and lower jaw, are 32, which are of four types. The front four ones up and down, the four, four incisors, then two, two canines, then three, three premolars and four, four molars. So it is 4 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. 4 plus 2 6. 6 plus 3 uh, 9 plus 4 uh, 30. I mean, 16, 16, hona chahiye, whatever the formula is. So there are 32 teeth. That is uh, incisors, canines, premolars and molars. Okay? I think it's 4, 4. Aisa kuch hai, okay? So these are the four different types of teeth. Then when you talk about the tongue, when you talk about the tongue, the tongue is a highly muscular organ without any bones. It is attached to the base of your throat. It helps the functions of the tongue is to taste the food, to mix the food with the saliva. To taste the food and to mix the food with the saliva and also the tongue helps to talk. So there are three functions of the tongue. Taste, talk, mix. T-T-M. Okay? T-P-M. That is taste, talk and uh, sorry, taste, talk and mix. Yeah. Tongue has got taste buds. There are four areas on the tongue which help you to taste the salt, bitter, sour and sweet. There are four areas on the tongue that help you to taste sour, bitter, sweet and salty. These are called the taste buds. These are called the taste buds. So the tongue helps you to taste it helps you to talk and it helps you to mix the food with the saliva. From where does the saliva comes? The saliva comes from the salivary glands. Now these three are the salivary glands. The parotid gland, the sublingual gland and submandibular gland. These three together are called as the salivary glands. Salivary glands. They secrete the saliva. What is the function of the saliva? The saliva helps to break down the carbohydrates into glucose, the starch to glucose. What does the saliva do? It breaks down starch to glucose. Then the food enters the mouth. From the mouth, it goes into the, from the mouth, mouth is the first organ, then it will go into the esophagus. This is also called as the food pipe. It is also called as the food pipe. Now, here, here the food travels from the esophagus through the entire alimentary canal by the process of peristalsis. It is very important that you remember all these words. It is peristalsis. Right? 
It is very important that you remember all these words. What is peristalsis? It is a continuous rhythmic movement of pushing. The food is pushed forward in wave-like rhythmic contractions. In wave-like rhythmic contractions, the food is moved forward through the entire alimentary canal by the process of peristalsis. So if a question comes in the exam, what is common? Which process is common in the entire alimentary canal? So it is the peristalsis. Peristalsis, the rhythmic wave-like contractions which push the food forward. From the food pipe, the food goes into the stomach. The food goes into the stomach. Now stomach, it is a J-shaped organ. Stomach is a J-shaped organ which is highly elastic. Okay? Now the stomach secretes three enzymes. The stomach secretes three enzymes. That is HCL, hydrochloric acid, mucus layer and pepsin. Please listen to me very very carefully. Okay? The stomach secretes three enzymes. Hydrochloric acid, pepsin and mucus. The function of hydrochloric acid is to make the medium, to make the environment of the stomach acidic. The function of the pepsin is to break down the proteins and the function of the mucus is to protect the wall of the stomach from getting in contact with the acid. Okay? Again, I will repeat. The stomach secretes three enzymes. Hydrochloric acid, pepsin and mucus. Hydrochloric acid will make the environment of the stomach acidic so that when you are eating the food, you people do not eat only healthy food. We all enjoy the roadside momos, the roadside bhel puri, the roadside pani puri, the cheese pav bhaji, right? When you eat, uh, when you eat food which is not clean, along with the food, the germs also enter the stomach. So, to kill the germs, the hydrochloric acid helps. It helps to kill the germs that enter along with the food, correct? Now, the hydrochloric acid will maintain the acidic medium and it will kill the germs. Pepsin will break down the protein from the food and the mucus. Now, we all know from the chapter acids, bases and salts that hydrochloric acid is a very, very strong acid. So, it will damage the wall of the... It comes in contact with the wall directly. So, there is a layer of mucus that protects the wall of the stomach from the acid. It does not allow direct contact of the acid with the stomach wall. Okay? So, there are three things that are secreted by the stomach. It is HCl, pepsin and mucus. Right? From the stomach, the food enters the small intestine. Right? Now, small intestine is the site for complete digestion. Entire process of digestion is completed in the small intestine. Now, small intestine cannot do it alone. So, it needs help. Small intestine takes help from the liver, the gallbladder and the pancreas. They help the small intestine to carry out digestion. Liver will secrete an enzyme called bile. Liver will produce it, gallbladder will store it and gallbladder will give it to the small intestine whenever required. So liver is the factory for bile, gallbladder is the storehouse and small intestine uses it whenever it requires. Okay? Along with that, the pancreas. The pancreas secrete enzymes like trypsin, pepsin, lipase. What is the function of these enzymes? Basically, to digest the carbohydrates, proteins and fats. Okay? Then, from the small intestine, the food enters the large intestine. Now, in the small intestine, digestion is complete. So, what enters the small intestine? Undigested food. There are no more nutrients left in this food now. Everything is digested and now the food enters the large intestine which is undigested waste food. But still, the body absorbs extra water from the large intestine. The body absorbs extra water from the undigested food which is in the large intestine. From the large intestine, the waste food will be stored in the rectum and whenever you go to the washroom, it will be released from the anus. Okay? it will be released from the anus. Again, I repeat, you take in the food in the mouth, you chew it, you make it soft because it mixes with the saliva and the teeth grind it. Then it goes into the food pipe. 
from the food pipe peristalsis starts and the food enters the stomach from the stomach the acidic food goes into the small intestine where the food is made basic from the small intestine the food goes into the large intestine which is undigested food because digestion is completed in the small intestine from the large intestine the waste food is stored in the rectum and whenever you go to the washroom in the morning you release it from the anus so these are the seven parts of the human digestive system now let us study them in detail okay let us study them in detail the digestive glands are your salivary glands pancreas liver and gall bladder what do they secrete so the salivary gland secretes saliva the liver secretes bile and the pancreas if you talk about the secretions of the pancreas the pancreas will secrete lipase trypsin and pepsin theek hai if you want please take a screenshot of this if you want please take a screenshot of this please take a screenshot of this if you want it's very very super important theek hai take a screenshot of this if it required theek hai take a screenshot of this it's not lagging i'm all here i'm just as i'm just moving aside so that you can take a screenshot theek hai insulin is also also made in the pancreas but then insulin is something which helps in the digestion of or which helps to maintain the blood sugar level you will learn about insulin when you learn about endocrine system theek hai chal now moving ahead the major digestive glands we have already learned about all this theek hai the now in mouth there is the mouth and the buccal cavity it helps to ingest and the large intestine helps to eject so this is the definition of ingestion and ejection in ingestion is intake of food which has takes place in the mouth and ejection is removal of the undigested food removal of the undigested food and large intestine plays a major role in ejection theek hai digestion is the breakdown of complex food into simpler ones absorption is now how does the absorption happen so in the small intestine in the small intestine there are finger like projections called villi villi are like this theek hai they are in very very close contact with the blood vessels so when the food when the food is passing from the villi the villi will absorb the nutrients and send it to the blood the blood will carry the nutrients to the required places and that is called assimilation i call assimilation as amazon delivery you have ordered the product and the amazon delivery person goes and delivers it at the designated place that is assimilation using the nutrient in the correct place in the body is assimilation theek hai so that is the process of assimilation right small intestine will secrete bile secrete bile that is uh, uh, produced by the liver and stored in the gall bladder what is the function of the bile the bile will help in the digestion of fats now it's very important for you to know that how are the nutrients broken down right very important so carbohydrates break down to glucose your proteins break down to amino acids and your fats break down to fatty acids and glycerol again it is very very important please take a screenshot of this also theek hai that that carbohydrates are broken down to glucose proteins are broken down into amino acids and fats are broken down into fatty acids and glycerol theek hai there is no lag please don't send that message in the chat there is no lag at all theek hai chal and now i have explained you the entire process let us go through the process once again let us go through the process once again theek hai so number 1 can you guys see it yes it is the mouth in the mouth you have got teeth which are 16 plus 
and you've got the tank. The function of the tank is PPM. Then from the mouth, it is the esophagus. Right? It is also called as food pipe. Over here, the process of peristalsis starts. Okay? Then it is stomach. In the stomach, you have got HCL. Pepsin, mucus. Okay? From the stomach, it is the small intestine. What all did we learn about the small intestine? It is the site for complete digestion. Who helps the small intestine? liver and pancreas. What is present in the small intestine? Villi. vomiting now vomiting happens when your stomach does not accept the food when the stomach does not accept the food that time vomiting happens got it is the place rectum is the place where the waste is stored where the waste is stored you store the waste the human feces which you remove in the washroom that is stored in the rectum and removed from the anus it looks like this So, the waste is stored over here and it is removed through the opening called anus. Now, now there is a opening, the opening, it is controlled, it is voluntary. You can control when you want to remove the waste. And that muscle, the muscle is there in the opening which is called as the sphincter muscle. The same muscle is there in your urethra also. See, whenever you want to urinate, it is in your control when you want to go and urinate, right? So it is controlled by a muscle called the sphincter muscle. The sphincter muscle, the sphincter muscle controls the opening of the anus as well as the urethra. Okay? Yes, very good, Chabi, you are right. Very good. Okay? Chalo, this is all clear. Screenshot taken. Shall I delete it? Peristalsis, Vivyanshi, peristalsis is the rhythmic wave-like contraction. Which pushes the mood, move, which pushes the food forward. It is rhythmic wave-like contractions which push the food forward. It starts from the esophagus in through the entire alimentary canal. Okay? Sure. Moving on. If you want to learn in detail, now see, I did not tell you about how does digestion happens in the small intestine. It happens partially above in the small intestine and then in the below of the small intestine. See. In a YouTube session, I have got my own limitations. I can't teach you everything in detail. I did not tell you anything about the auxentic cells of the stomach, right? So if you want to be a step ahead, if you want to know more than anyone else is knowing, if you want to with me, interact with me, and not only listen to me, discuss with me. If you want to share knowledge, ideas, and information, if you want revision notes, my handwritten notes, replays of the class, recordings of the class, if you want to choose the language of your choice, Teacher of your choice and timing of your choice. I have these back. Much pe believe nahi hota. Amir Khan se sun lo. Wo toppers ke photo sab chhap dete hain. Lekin baaki bache. Unki CBSC for grade seven CBSC where you are getting thirty two live classes. Thirty two live classes, right? You need to pay just rupees two two five zero. The actual cost is rupees twenty five hundred. 
But if you put the coupon code PJPRO, you just pay rupees 2250 and you get 32 live classes in a month. And if you want to enroll for the entire year, that is all the more better. Because 2200 per month, for 10 months, it becomes 22,000 rupees, right? But if you pay only rupees 20,250, you get to learn for the entire year, right from today till your final exams. That is for the entire year. So, you can enroll and you can take the experience. Ek baar leke to dekho, it is going to definitely, definitely, definitely be an amazing experience, right? So, you just need to go to bdnt.ad pro and use the coupon code PJPRO. This link is pinned in the chat. You can also find it in the description of the video. So, go and see. You know how I teach, right? Now, it's been like two years that you are experiencing my teaching on Vedantu Young Wonders. But I guarantee you that the experience in the class is going to be beyond your imagination. So, ek bar leke to dekho. Just go to bdnt.in/ytpro and use pjpro as the coupon code. With that now, let us go to the mentee and the batches. Yeah, very important information that the batches for grade 7 have already started last Monday. So, you can enroll now. Sip abhi tak chahi classes hue hai. So, you can enroll and start learning. The next batch will only start on the 5th of July. So, 5th July tak wait karne ki koi zarurat nahi hai. Go and enroll today itself. Right? Let us meet in the classes. And for grade 7 for premium batches where there are only going to be 15 students. In premium batch there are only going to be 1, 5, 15 students. You also get a personal mentor for yourself. And premium experience to matlab it's VIP experience. So if you want that experience the classes are beginning from Monday that is 28th of June. The, the fees for premium is a little higher as compared to light and classic. Because the benefits also are very 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 join the premium batch also you can just go to bdnt.in/ytpro select your grade select your board choose premium and start learning let me just show you once let me just show you once so just go to bd but in premium you're getting a personal mentor for yourself so that is the benefit of premium okay again the class strength is different in life there are 50 students in classic there are 50 students but in premium there are only 15 students right so what you need to do is you can try for one month for just rupees 1900 and also if you put the coupon code PJPRO, you just need to put PJPRO. You put this code, click on apply and there you go. Oh my god, see guys, there is a reduced price now. You just pay rupees 1710, not even 2250, it is only 1710 and this is a limited time deal. It is only for the next few hours. Aapko aur 500 rupees, you are getting a 500 rupees off more. So just go. It's 1710. The discounted price. This is a special offer. Even I didn't know. I told you about 2250. But now when I see it is just 1710. Quickly go after the class and buy it. You are getting more 500 rupees off. Oh my god. That is such 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 a great discount. And if you buy classic. Ye kaha gaya? Ye wala to kai kho gaya. Chalo. Classic pe chao gaye, so you get a further discount and premium will also be at a cheaper cost. Okay? So let us go back to the classes. And this is about Priya Ma'am session which is starting very soon. So just stay tuned to Vedantu Young Wonders and this is the code for the mentee. The code for the mentee is 4008-1950. Just go to www.menti.com and 4008-1950 is the code for the mentee. 4008-1950 4008-1950 is the code for the menti. Okay? Chalo. Quick, 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 quickly join menti guys. 4008-1950 is the code for the menti. I don't know why the students are saying lag, lag, lag. I can see everything absolutely perfect over here. Kahi pe koi lag, lag, kuch bhi nahi hai. Smoothly the video is running. Chalo quickly join the menti guys. 4008-1950 is the code for the menti. Thik hai? Chalo quickly join.
चलो चलो थैंक यू सो मच ऋषभ थैंक यू कमान okay riya uh, about the pdfs i will definitely consider it and i will uh, ask the team if it works but what you can do is riya for immediate uh, use you uh, you know the immediate use that you can put to is that you can take a screenshot theek hai just take a screenshot and start learning there is no lag guys i am here only theek hai chalo thank you yours thank you shruti thank you soni theek hai chalo let's start we have got very easy questions i have deliberately put very easy questions because the concepts that we learned today they were a bit complex so the questions in the mendy are going to be super easy theek hai more than 250 students have joined already more than 260 let us wait for 275 okay 300 ho sakta hai kya chalo i'll count down from 20 20 19 18 17 16 
And the question number three, absolutely free for now, is the question number three on your screen now. Bile is produced by who produces the bile, which is the largest gland in the body? The small intestine, large intestine, liver, or pancreas. Who produces the bile, which is the largest gland of the body, which has got more than 200 function, which helps in the emulsification of fats, which is reddish brown in color, which has the power of regeneration, which even if you donate it to someone and you only have 25% in your body, it can regrow to 100%. It is the magical organ. The magical organ which also gets affected if you take a lot of painkillers or it is something which gets directly affected when you consume alcohol. Yes, it is the liver. Dekha, liver ke to we can write a book. Itna kuch mene liver ke mein bol diya. Chal. So let us look at the leaderboard with the superstars, the superboard. Palak and Vaibhav, Samra, Dipanchi, Hardy, Vindya, Ayush, Mitrava, Gautam, Manish and Chavi Sharma. Chavi and Ayush, you both are the fastest. Palak and Vaibhav are leading the leaderboard by 6 points. They have a tie between 3 students, Mitrava, Hardy and no, Hardy, Manish and Gautam. Okay. Let us look at the question number 4. Question number fantastic 4 on your screen now. Chalo, chalo, chalo. Menti, 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 menti. After processing of food in stomach, it moves into the highly coiled and complex organ, which is nothing like its name, but just because it is inside something, it is called that. It is very, very long, more than 7 meters long, and it is the site for complete digestion. It cannot do this task alone and that is why it takes the help of liver, pancreas and the gallbladder. It has got finger-like projections called villi. It is the site for complete digestion. And the name of that organ which is more than 7 meters long in length is the small intestine. You are absolutely correct. More than 200 students are correct about it. It is the small intestine. Right? With that, we see the super board and the superstars. Palak and Vaibhav, Samrat, Vindya, Ayush, Mitrava, Manish, Hardy, Gautam, Chavi and Sandhi. Ayush, you are the fastest. Palak and Vaibhav, you are leading the leaderboard by 5 points. And we have a tie between Vindya and Sandhi. Chal. Looking at the question number 5. Okay, oops, something went wrong. Chalo, what went wrong? Let's see. 8 minute, 8 minute, 8 minute. I'm coming back with the menti. So I just do F5. Yes. Okay, question number five on your screens now. Chalo, chalo, question number five. The small intestines has thousands of finger like outgrowths called dash. Super easy. It is the bile, villi, glands, or none of these. Ye to atak gaya. Nahi, 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 nahi. Chalo, it has started, started, started. Chalo. The finger-like projections present on present in the small intestine. Bile, villi, glands are none of these. Super easy. Super, 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 super easy. Chalo. Bahut easy question hai. The ones which help in absorption, which are in direct contact with the blood capillaries, which help to absorb them and assimilate them. Okay, again, ye to attack gaya. Okay, wait, 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 wait. क्यों इतना अटक जाता है? Oh my God! Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Yes, it is the villi. चल. Next question coming on your screen. Okay, the leaderboard. So Palak, Vaibhav, Samrat, Ayush, Mitrava, Manish, Hardy, Gautam, Chavi, Sanvi, and Vindya. And we have got Sanvi as the fastest and a tie between Manish, Mitrava, Sanvi. Chalo, let's see. Last question coming on your screens now. The question number six. Let us fix. Chalo. The waste matter. And on the super board, we have got Samrat, Ayush, Hardy, Mitrava, Sanvi, Manish, Chavi, Dil Se Bulaya, Ashutosh, Aya, Kripat, and Tusha. Mitrava and Ashutosh, you are the fastest. Samrat, okay, I thought it will be Palak uh, and Weber who will win the Mendy. But Samrat, you won it. Congratulations. That is a great magical performance shown by you, Samrat. Superbly awesome. Congratulations. Great job. You did a great job. Congratulations, Samrat, on winning the mentee. And with that, we come back to the slides. So, 
Guys, I know there was a lag. It is not my fault. The internet which I have was constantly fluctuating. It is coming, going, coming, going, coming, going. Because of which there was a lag. But right now, after the class, I'll call the internet service provider and they are going to get some peace of mind. Right? Till then, do not forget to give this video a big fat thumbs up because we all had a great time. I'm sure we had a great learning experience today. I've bought good Sikha. So this video ko thumbs up dena hai. You need to subscribe to Vedantu Young Wonders right here. You can see the logo of the channel. Yeah, you heard. That is the subscribe button. Subscribe to Vedantu Young Wonders and share it with your friends and school WhatsApp groups. Thank you so much, guys. I'll be seeing you on Sunday at 11 a.m. with five books that you should read during the lockdown, which are going to be life-changing. Until we meet next, take care of yourselves. Stay healthy, stay happy, stay blessed. Have a great time. Bye-bye. Take care.